When working with a photo, you can also recolor it by using a color as a tint. This can be used for things like grayscale effects or sepia tones and is an easy way to simplify the appearance of an image. Let's select a bright photo here and I'll choose the image. When I choose the format option, you'll see color. Clicking this gives you the choice of simple changes. For example, you can desaturate the image and as I mouse over, you'll see that that adjusts. Normal saturation or boosting the saturation quite a bit. Remember, as you boost color though, it can start to posterize and look very artificial. Besides boosting or desaturating color, you have the ability to change color temperature. This is measured in degrees Kelvin, and it can be a very subtle change and depends on the white balance of the photo. This is useful if your photo has a tint, such as a bluish tint for time of day. The recolor category of color gives you lots of different options. The ability to choose things like grayscale or sepia, make a washout for a background, or simplify an image to pure black and white content. You also can make dramatic tints going with black and an emphasis color, or essentially white and an emphasis color, making a very simplified version of the image. Besides these presets, you'll note the ability to choose more variations. And as you do this, this allows you to dial in from the theme colors that are available for a particular theme, or to choose your own color manually. Once you've done that, that will then be mapped to the image itself. As you're doing all of these choices, note that you do have the ability to choose picture color options, and this will take you up. Earlier we took a look at the picture corrections for brightness and contrast. This allows you down here to make a change. So, for example, if I change my mind on recolor, I can easily reset it, and then manually dial in just the saturation amount that I want, or pull that back down, as well as roll the color temperature to affect the lighting conditions for that particular image. If you ever change your mind and simply want to restore, clicking Reset will take you back to the beginning. Remember, each of these controls is available for individual photos. So, if you want to work with that under Format, just choose the color category, and you can easily dial the color temperature or saturation level in. I'm going to back this one off just a little bit and use a preset to shift its color temperature a little bluer. And if I wanted manual control, from the bottom of that list, I would simply choose Picture Color Options. You'll note that anything you chose from a preset does carry over, but instead of being limited to values, you now have manual controls, and you can dial that in until it's a perfect match. A membership to lynda.com unlocks this entire course and hundreds of others. Visit lynda.com to learn more.